I can't wait. He'll be all new again. Uh, Thomas, Sir Topham was trying to find you earlier. He told me to tell you that Percy's returning to your line because me and Duck are going to handle the coastal route. Right, are you sure you want to be over there? Campfire isn't exactly the most useful job for a tram engine. <laughs> Neither is Fisherman, but you still did it. Touche, Toby. Welcoming committee. Yes, we certainly are, Edward. Rest your wheels in the yard for a while. The journey from crew must have been tough. Thank you, sir. The rest of you, get to work. Thomas, I was meaning to... I know, sir. Toby just mentioned it. All oh, right. Well done, Toby. Come on, you lot. Let's get you to your jobs. Oh, it's good to be back, driver. It is, Edward. Although, I'm sure the other engine the crew miss you, too. Oh, what can I say? I'm a likeable fellow. Have a nice sleep, Edward. So, what's all these rumours I've been hearing about you and a certain lady, eh? I don't know what you're talking about. I see that look in your eye, lad. I know you. <laughs> Fair enough. Hey, she's the most wonderful lass I've ever met. She's so forthright and strong, yet I can't help finding her look quite cute, I guess. It's weird. Oh, both of us all grown up. I'm pretty sure I'm the older one, though. Well, that's what you think. Oh, very funny. Anyway, why are you bringing up my love life now? Because it was non-existent before. Anyway, if she makes you happy, that's all the that matter. Let's go for it, sorry, Jim. Really? Yeah, just don't be, you know, you. And I'm sure she'd love to have you by her side. Oh, holiday hard hard. I'm off to find her. How are you enjoying your first day back? I've never realised how much I miss passengers. Well, you can take some of my passenger trains from time to time if you want. You... you sure? Yeah, take my afternoon train and I'll take your trucks. Oh, thanks, Thomas. Alright, Thomas. Hey, do you mind moving out of the way? Oh, hi, Terence. How are you? Hmm, I'm so-so. What about you? Oh, I'm not doing too bad myself. Wait, is that any coat of paint? You're the first one man and engine kind to like to notice that today. Thank you very much, Percy. Well, when you two are done drooling all over one another, I'll just move out of the way, shall I? Oi, I don't drool. Not all the time, anyway. All right, Doc, it's your turn to take Henrietta. Ugh, right you, Toby. The passengers have been singing your praises, Toby. They're very impressed with your handling despite the weather. They're calling you their special attraction. Oh, well, please, give them all a thank you for me. Special attraction indeed. I work just as or as him, yet he's the only one worthy of being a special attraction. Absolutely charming. It's not my fault I'm relatively new to coaches. Is the sun eating your boiler again? Is that why you're acting like a total prat? My boiler is fine, driver. It's not even that hot. Hey, Thomas. Hey, Edward. How are you? Well, I should be asking that, not you. I heard about the memorial. I hope it gave you some peace. It did. It was nice. <sighs> Good. I wish I was there, though. For Neil's sake. I think he should have been remembered there, too. Why didn't he get a service after he died? Well, Alfred wasn't around, was he? We never had a rescue engine back then, so nobody could authorise his memorial. <sighs> it's just one of those things. Me 
makes you realise that Alfred's a great asset. Maybe he has changed since that time. Since what? Never you mind, Thomas. Honestly, Edward, he's just coming across nice to improve his image just to top him. Nothing more. He's still a conniving little wretch. Gordon, stop. You need to let her go. What was that? Gordon being caught up over things that happened a long time ago. Hello again, Doc. Special attraction indeed. So, I was thinking, uh, maybe we could do some shunting here together. It seems like it's getting busier. Not that I was suggesting you're incapable. <laughs> oh, Donald! Yeah? I know what you're trying to say, and I feel the same. Uh, do you do? Of course! <laughs> oh, seems as though you're their special attraction now. Oh, Toby, I've been a complete idiot, I have. I got mad at you over all my special attraction nonsense, and I realise now that I was being silly. I apologise. Oh, Doc, whether you're told or not, we're all special attractions, because that's what makes us really useful engines, for lack of a better phrase. I'm going to say this to you only once, Alfred. You aren't welcome here. You are scum, you were then, you are now, and you will go on living as such. I don't know what your game is, but I know you're up to something. Ugh, up to what, Gordon? I'm not like that anymore. Engines can change. 